home? One of the biggest considerations, cost and figuring out how you're going to pay for it, right? So it'd be nice to know if there's some help available. Cole Slade from Exit Real Estate Gallery back here in the morning show. How are you, man? Absolutely. How are you? So there are a couple of different programs that really are designed to help first-time home buyers, and the one is for bond money. How does it work? So there's bond money here in the Jacksonville area. Uh, you're able to get, uh, in Duval County, $15,000 to help with your cash to close. And when I say cash to close, that's your down payment money in addition to your closing costs. And then in uh, Clay County, you have the same type of thing with $10,000. And in St. John's and Nassau County, same program at $7,500. So how do I tap into the program? What do I have to do to qualify? Well, first, t first thing, you have to be a first time home buyer or you cannot have owned a home in the past three years. Uh, you have to have a minimum credit score of 640. Which is average. Absolutely. Yeah, I mean, because, you know, 700 plus is considered good. Absolutely. And then uh, the last requirement is a household or an applicant um, uh, annual salary, uh, which can range between seventy dollars and $90,000 a year that the applicant or the household uh, can bring in. All right, now there's another mortgage program that's available, also designed to help first-time home buyers get the keys. Uh, yes, that is the MCC program, which is the Mortgage Credit Certificate. And going back, helping out our first-time home buyers or our friends that haven't owned homes in the past three years, this is a $2,000 annual credit, annual tax credit that you can receive uh, per year just for being a first-time home buyer or not ho owning a home in the past three years. Um, and uh, you get this credit as long as this is your primary residence. What other criteria do I need to tap into this program? Well, the, um, this is actually an attachment to other mortgage programs. So your credit minimum here is going to be whatever, you know, if you're doing FHA conventional, uh, VA, whatever your, uh, your program is there. And your um, annual income limitations will range around sixty-three dollars to $85,000. Uh, and that is per household, not necessarily the applicant. Okay. Uh, so is this really acting as an incentive? I mean, are we seeing home buying up? Oh, absolutely. I actually just read an article this morning, uh, National uh, Realtor Magazine, that says um, that first-time home buyers are actually taking up 33% of our market right now. So nationally, first-time home buyers are one-third of the uh, customers, the buyers right now. And, and one of the realities is here in Northeast Florida, even we don't, though we don't have the current numbers, there's not necessarily a lot of inventory that's available out there. So that makes buying a home, putting it, means it, it puts you in a more competitive situation, so this money can help you better qualify. Absolutely, and you can leverage these programs. Like you said, with minimal inventory, um, you know, it's, it's really strategizing with the offers that you go in, a lot of times in com competitive situations. So if you know you're maxing out your uh, cash to close and your assistance, say on the south side with your $15,000 that you're getting, you're able to strategically, uh, you know, maybe just work on the purchase price or maybe work on other conditions that are in the contract that will give you your leverage and your competitive edge over the competition. And you'll need that leverage because it's a seller's market right now. Yeah, absolutely. Cole, always a pleasure. Thanks, man. If you missed any of this interview, looking to buy a home for the first time, get this information on newsforjacks.com. It should be posted shortly after 11 this morning. Just look on the Morning Show page.